Gia. This city has so many wonders. I never dreamed of such a place. What uh what is this? Oh look at the year. Well na pa year look for the Oh, I hear you so hear supu no nayafkaf. Sisa ear ukaru aya we ear. Hmm. Ha 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 So no no ko wu if we are so weird tatasi ni si so ir ka wi kawar ir roren U sa ir sa wi api hir ni nu si so ir ti wu Wo wo wi shak si ir ka wi onk ni si so ir aku wu u sunti wo wo wi shak si ir fukno so no no ko wu if we are so weird tatasi ni si so ir ka wi kawar ir roren Rons ni wu no yir wa yir uk sak wan er ko uk ni ko ni si so ir aku wu Ow Ni si so ir Thank you Come and learn about. No, not you. <laughs> Co pilots over here snoring. She's so cute. <clears throat> that was way too short for me to read any of that. I read the politics of Golden Way, and then that's it. Darn, my computer's so fast. The humanity of it all. Oh, God, oh, what? Hello. I'm sorry, I was just muttering to myself. I'm in some trouble and... Wait! You! You could help me! Possibly. You're... Oh, shit. I didn't know if it was one of the automatic ones, or... Hmm. Well, you see, there's been a mix-up. No, an error. Oh, who am I kidding? Some bastard has changed my play! Ugh, oh. I am Incisive Chorus, the playwright. I'm sure you've heard of me. And if not, you have... now, I suppose. <coughs> You're One not wrong. One of my productions has been touring the countryside and catching people's attention. We were asked to bring it into the city and perform here in the Golden Way. The play must go on, but not as they want it. The play has been changed, you see. One very key piece of the play has been rewritten. Oh, no. <laughs> Once you change this scene, you change the very soul of the production. It's hardly my play at all if they perform it their way. They've changed it from a commentary of man's inhumanity to man to a satire of the Empire. I tell you truthfully that they've lost the whole point of the piece. There's that too. Anyone could take offense. Now I'm doubly concerned. Oh, sorry. Of course I would pay you. In fact, I'd match. Uh, well, this is odd. <sighs> What's up? It's just that there's no going rate for female actors, or whatever you'd be called. It's unheard of. Oh, God.
Of course there are, though I'm not supposed to know it. The entire establishment turns a blind eye to them. They deserve that much respect. I hear the bosom binding, pants stuffing, and whatnot is a far cry from comfortable. The irony is that many of them get cast as female roles. Fresh faces, you see, leaving us with a woman playing a woman through four layers of costume. Most unsightly. <laughs> That's hilarious. I myself have pushed long and hard for realism. Verisimilitude is the word they're throwing out these days. And what better way to avoid all that unnecessary shirt stuffing? Alas, tradition often becomes a barrier blackened by short-sightedness that is not easily overcome. I need that fire and that passion. That's what I need. <laughs> I will gladly offer you the going rate for a leading man, just for a walk-on part. I need you to take a role in the play and read the role the, uh, original way. Sure. You have a most regal bearing, so I'd expect you'd have no, well, no major problems at any rate acting the role of Lady Fourteen Flowers. Oh god. I think you should do it. You'd make a wonderful Lady Fourteen Flowers. Dawnstar! If you talk to first degree thespian Fong up by the pagoda, tell him you're the replacement actor. He'll be desperate, so all you'll have to do is read the proper lines. Y your proper lines. Here's a copy of the original script for your scene. Pivotal, I assure you. This copy reads properly. <laughs> Not like that edited pile of dung. Mm. Hurry over to the large pagoda over so the golden it. way and tell Fong that you're the replacement. They won't wait forever, so step quickly to it. Yep, 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 yep. Remember, you'll have to memorize your lines. No script on stage, of course. Also, make sure you read from this script. Oh no. All right, hold no, on. I need a piece of paper because no. I know it's gonna fucking ask me to perform, memorize things. So I shan't jinx it. Get to it. Oh God. Hold on, hold on. Ah! Things are falling off of my desk. There we go. Piece of paper, piece of paper, piece of paper. Alright, here we go. Uh, do I have to look at that now? Or... Can oh, can I? <laughs> this motherfucker. You guys both use swords? I'm gonna choose between sword girls. The answer is don't. Just don't date anyone. It'll be fine. Excuse me, you're in my way, and I'm trying to keep an eye out for our replacement actor. Hi, I'm your replacement actor. You? You're the replacement? Yes, I'm already in costume. By the starry river, that is the best makeup job I've ever seen. We'll barely have to touch you up to play Lady Fourteen Flowers. Exactly. You get it. And let me just say, your costume makes everything look very... Uh, Authentic. Yes, yes. Are you talking no, about my titties? Mate. Mate. Did they give you a copy of the script when they sent you over here? They did. Wait. Is he going to tell me that's the wrong script, though? Why didn't I save before this? I was even, like, on the page. Fucking hell. Uh... Uh... Babe, which one do I choose? I don't remember. It's been years. Now you know how I feel when you ask me that question. <laughs> Babe, how do I find this thing in Fable? I don't freaking remember. <laughs> Yeah. 
Yeah, it doesn't look like my babe remembers either. Welp. Let me see that. No. No, 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 no. This is all wrong. They, the script's recently been revised. So even if you're familiar with the old version, read it again for the changes before you okay, head Okay, he gave it back to me. Well, a southern noble funded the location and travel for us, but wanted to make a few tweaks. Ugh. We couldn't afford to miss the exposure. Our writer wasn't that happy, but we accepted the revisions, and here we are. Cool, sounds great. I'm sure your Actors Guild told you that we have standard rates. We'll happily pay you the going rate for a lead, especially since this is short notice. Ruin your scene, and you get nothing. Ouch. Just like normal. Understand? Understood. <laughs> what do you consider ruining the scene? Just get at least half the lines correct, and the crowd will figure out what's happening. Any less than that, and it becomes one of those obscure plays no one likes. <laughs> now, read that script over. Come talk to me when you've got it, and we'll get you into final costume and onto the stage. Okay. Now, how do I read these? How do I... God. Uh... Dang it. Have you read the script? Okay, but hurry. The director will probably do something. Fuck. Okay. Basically. Listened to the will of the heavens. Traced by a suiting star. Oh, God, okay. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Oh, here it is. Okay. White banners are flying. All right. Heaven sending a message at dusk. Playwright, of course. Lotus Assassins can. Okay. 
Heard you have a great plane. <laughs> yeah, babe, I got it. Seasons. The heavens themselves. Okay, shooting star. Have you read the script? Yeah, let's go. That's the spirit. Let's get you into the back and costumed up, Lady Fourteen Flowers. Eve, I know. Watch closely. We shall see if the informant was accurate. Imagine condemning the Jade Empire at its heart. The fools. All of Heaven's blessings guide him. But Sagacious Tien has been absent from the palace for such a time. His conquests of the Northern Kingdoms have kept his light from us. All the scattered kingdoms have seen the light of his rule, and Babe, our emperor's stop. advisors grow in number. The arable lands to the south, all the way to the useless jungles, which were left as nothing for the Monkey King, are fused into the mighty Jade Empire. To the east, Sagacious Tien has spread his light to the very waters themselves. And lo, to the west, he found enlightenment among the hills of the Six Holy Scrolls. But what were from the wastes of the Horse Lords? Aha! What is this? Why, tis Lady Fourteen Flowers. We can only hope she brings word. My dearest Lady Fourteen Flowers, under what banner does your entourage travel today? Peace in the North? Could this be? Have all the Horse Lords been subjugated so easily? Heaven smiles upon the Empire today. It's okay. Your arrival here but is it's certainly gaming. welcome as your kingdom is one of the most recent to join the Jade Empire. We have had word that the hostilities have ceased. Tell me, most gracious lady, when was this momentous decision reached? Dusk, brev. I love you. You phrase that most interestingly, Lady Fourteen Flowers. Why do I sense there is more to this story? But surely the might of the Jade Empire is unquestionable, and our will to victory unswayed. And tell me, most gracious madam, when the final blow was struck, where was our noble leader? Deep in the wastes of the North? Surely you mean the far edge. The horse lord camps broken behind him. No. There's been nothing but the gentle drafts of spring here in the Imperial City for weeks. With such a chill in the air, was this some time ago? 
God, how lagged are you? Seasons change. Is that I guess it's this one, right? The warmth of spring. Ah, yes. For while things can seem warm, ice can lock away all that warmth from the people's hearts. Dang. And the sun becomes locked away where none can see its warming face. <laughs> it seems to me that some part of your story remains untold. Do my questions block the truth? Tell me this, if nothing else, good lady. When the cry for thought peace thought it was only like up, 15 seconds. Who was it that our great emperor turned to? The heavens themselves. The heavens had turned to him? These words, are they riddled? Wait, what word is this from the front? The Emperor sends word of his return. The Horse Lords are unconquered, but our forces were undefeatable. What happened to cease the expansion of the Empire, dear lady? A celestial event? Most auspicious. And so, our most noble Emperor saw a sign from the heavens. Our mighty armies poised to crush the horse lords and stretch the empire to the ends of the I earth. Think I did that but right? We stop. For now, even I see that there are limits to ambition, and overreaching those limits invites nothing but disaster. All praise the Emperor, for his wisdom is infinite. My lady, you have my deepest thanks for bringing this news to us. I shall inform the court immediately. What in the dragon's eye was that? I saw no trees in there. Oh, the informant will suffer for a lifetime. You there, Lady Fourteen Flowers. Yes. The crowd loved it. Fantastic performance. You managed to hit every line perfectly. Of course I did. <laughs> At least we know you'll have something to fall back on if our other endeavors fail. Don't star, please. That was a curious interpretation of your role. It lacked some of the punch we've come to expect from the great lady. Ah well, what's done is done. I believe I owe you an actor's fee. Enjoy. I'm glad you were here to fill in. We would have sunk faster than a bottomless boat without a solid Lady 14 flowers on hand. No probs, my guy. <laughs> Rather fun. Now I know you're not one of the guild actors. They're never positive about anything. Oh well, no harm done, I'm sure. The performance wouldn't have gone on without you, professional actor or not. That's right. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have things I must attend to. <laughs> 